Hi everyone! So, um, welcome to What Up Wednesdays or What's Up Wednesdays. I usually want to start this like, what's up, what's up, what's up? Anyways, that's what my sister, my twin sister does every time. Uh, well, most of the time when I call her, she's like, what's up, what's up, what's up? And I'm like, yeah, the little buildup really helps. Um, I usually start off my morning after, um, after getting out of the gym and, um, oop, where's the hair? After getting out of the gym, you know, getting ready for the day, I, on my way home, I call both of my sisters. And it's a, it's a really nice practice because I'm really able to, you know, um, connect with them before their day starts. And it's always a lot of fun because they're always telling me what's going on. Um, and they're really funny, actually. I was just thinking about that this morning, about how funny they are. Um, but let me go ahead. I start a little early. That way I can go ahead and do a couple of things here on this other end. But, uh, let's see, I'm almost done. Oh my gosh, my face, I, that's the face of me concentrating, okay? Don't judge me. We all have that concentration face. We can't help it, right? Right? Anyways, okay. I'll smile instead. It's not easy for me because I want to like squint. That was me this morning in class. The, in the spinning class, I took my glasses. I like to alternate. Um, the, the majority of the time, I wear my contacts. And I think it's so funny because I took them off during the class because we're doing jumping jacks with the weight. And I have to take them off or else my glasses are going to be doing this. And nobody wants that. You know, I don't want that. So um, I took them off. But then I was like, this is me. And then I kind of stopped, right? Because I was like, I need to make sure that I'm not like, like looking funny. But still, like I put them on later and I was like, wow, everything is so precise and nothing's blurry. It's the funniest thing. But for all the people out there who wear glasses or contacts, you know what I'm saying. Because you know, you wake up and sometimes you're like, hmm, like I know Victor will look at me and he's like, why are you making those faces? And I'm like, I can't see. It's not like I want to make those faces. I just can't see. So anyways, let's get down to it. So one of the to the main topic for today that I wanted to discuss is down payments. So down payments, you know, are usually thought of as a large sum of money that people need to put down in addition to the loan that they get to purchase the house, right? Now, the thing about down payments is it really depends on the type of loan you're getting. And there are different types of loans. Now, I'm not going to get into the different types of loans. Hey, Renee. Um, but I'll briefly, we'll mention a couple that way you know um, how the down payments change. So, for example, though, if you have cash, you most likely will not need to put down a down payment. You know what I mean? Because it's cash. Like, that's going to go down real quick to the seller, right? Especially if you're the buyer. Um, so... If you say you go with an FHA loan or a conventional loan, depending on the one you get, you're, you get or the one that you qualify for, <clears throat> um, it's going to affect uh, the down payment. So FHA loans usually require a down payment or not usually, they do require a down payment of 3.5% of whatever the purchase price. So it's, it's not a client or something. Um, but... Um, if you're going with a conventional loan, you normally need about 20% uh, down payment, or so whatever the purchase price is. So if it's if the house that you're trying to buy is 100000 for the sake of numbers, 20% of that would be 20000 Yay, good for math. <laughs> and that's what you would have to put down for the down payment, okay? So if it was FHA, 3.5% of FHA would, or of the, of the 130 would be what three thousand five hundred? Eh, I was looking for a calculator. If I got my numbers wrong, don't judge me. But you know what I'm saying? Take out a calculator. I know you're smart too. But yeah, so down payments really play play uh, a role in because I I know a lot of times people are like, well, I'm gonna save up like for half of the amount of the house. Well, that's a good idea if that's what you want to do. But at the same time, don't think that you need to get. Don't think you need to save up to half of the amount of the house you're trying to buy in order to put that as a down payment. Like you certainly can, but you don't need to. It just depends. There's so many variables and I don't like to be like, it depends. But we really do live in the shades of gray, especially when it comes to real estate because each situation is so different. Because not only do FHA loans require the 3.5% down payment, but then there's all the, um, 
there's other little um, contingencies to that loan, just like there is also for conventional loans, like the the level of credit score that you have, right? So that's also something to take in consideration, but we're not going to talk about because today we're talking about down payments. So yeah, down payments are or vary based off the loan that you're getting. Again, we had mentioned FHA, conventional, the other types of loans such as VA. But then also, the earnest money that you put down, especially once the realtor drafts up the offer, usually goes down towards the down payment. Okay, so say for example, uh, and we had talked about earnest money last week, okay? So say for example, the down payment, uh, right, from, from the, a uh, hundred thousand percent, a hundred thousand dollar home that we just previously used as an example, three and a half percent of that again, three thousand five hundred, and then if you're putting down one one thousand percent as earnest money, usually then that means that the down payment is two thousand five hundred. Again, now I'm not saying that if you get a house and if it's a hundred thousand that these numbers are going to be exact. I don't know. I can't tell you yes or no just because, again, each situation varies. But just for example's sake, that's how we're going to leave it, okay? So, yeah, the earnest money can become part of the down payment or some sort of closing costs at the end, okay? Hi, Caro. Um, another thing is that, um, so when we think of down payments, we normally think of down payment assistance programs, right? And you're like, yes, like, I want one of those. I got one too when I first bought my house, you know what I mean? But there's a couple of things to take into consideration when you are contemplating uh, getting a down, getting assistance from a down payment program. And I say that because they can have different interest rates, sometimes even higher interest rates than another type of loan that you could be getting. Does that make sense? So um, they might be giving you assistance with your down payment, but then your monthly payment could be higher in general had you gone with another loan just because the interest rate is higher for that down payment program. Does that make sense? So I know, like I said, I can't give you specifics, but when you're down to it and when you're in the process, like everything will be specific because working as your realtor, I would be focusing on making sure that I'm working with everybody else in the team and that would be the lender, the title agency, uh, the listing agent and the seller, right? Because we want this to be a smooth transaction for everybody. Um, so that's just something to be mindful of. Don't get me wrong, down payment, down payment assistance programs are very helpful, but just know what you're getting yourself into. I'm all for whatever you want to do, and I'm here to help facilitate that. Just know what you're getting yourself into, and that's what I'm so, and that's what I'm here to do as well. Okay, um, I I do that with my clients where I'm like, hey, you know, by the way, like I just want to make sure that you're okay with this, because I'd rather be like, oh, yeah, that's totally fine versus them tell me, you never told me. And I'd be like, nope, we're never going to have that situation because you know that I'm going to be like, just so you know, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to be like, all right, cool. Or, oh, no, or let's change this. OK, so that's the little bit of down payments. So if you do have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. You're never bothering me. So don't feel that way. And even if you feel that way, reach out to me anyway. I'm not going to bite you. <laughs> that's why I eat so I can behave in public <laughs> but anyways so I do want to talk a little bit about super Saturday this Saturday is gonna be super because I'm gonna be having a free hour of Zumba it's gonna be at 10 a.m. okay so you get to sleep in just a little bit and you know get a little time to drink your coffee I had coffee today <laughs> anyways <laughs> but um, I'm going to be having the free Zumba class at 10 a.m. at Desert Star Park. It's on 67th Avenue and Thomas. A lot of fun. I'm going to be debuting a couple of new songs. One song that I want to be doing is a Booty by J-Lo and Pitbull. I'm a little like, ooh, that's risque. But anyways, it should be a lot of fun. So, you know, just join me for a little sassiness. Um, that's going to be an hour. The, the Zumba time, right? A little less than an hour. <clears throat> so, and it's free. And there's space. So, feel free to bring people. Like, I don't... Like, that's cool. Like, I don't mind. Like, let's out there and go have some fun. And if you're like, well, I don't know because, you know, I get confused with the steps. So do I. <laughs> just kidding. Sometimes. But seriously, just come out there, move a little, shake a little some, and let's get down. You know? Because then after we get down, <clears throat> we have an open house to attend. Marisol Cortez, another realtor with Mujican Associates, um, who I work with, right, since I'm a realtor, Mujican Associates as well, uh, will be accompanying me that day. And we're going to be having it from 1230 to 3. The address is, uh, 
I want to say it off the top of my head, but if what if I'm wrong? That would not be good for anybody. So let me double check that. Um, but like I said, it's going to be 1230 to 3. And it's actually not too far away from the park. Which is why I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it all together. Like if you're traveling out there this way, this way you have multiple things that you can do versus only having one thing. Okay. So, because that's super important to me. You know, like, you know, getting the most out of wherever you're going. So let me go ahead and check. So it is in Phoenix, even though it is out there in the avenues. So the address is, ooh, and I'm glad I hold it. I held off because I also would have told you the wrong address and that wouldn't have been good for anybody. You know, can you imagine? You're like knocking at the door and you're like, open house. And then the person's like, I'm not even selling my home. Not good. Okay, so the address is 2802 North 73rd Drive, Phoenix, Arizona, 85035. I will make sure to put that in the details. Uh, but yeah, should be a lot of fun. Check it out. It's a lovely home, two stories, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage. There's a community pool. Again, all the perks. You have a pool and don't have to clean it. How nice. Seriously. So then another thing after Saturday is that I know sometimes we're like, I don't know what I'm going to do this week. And I feel like doing something new or exploring a little bit more. Well, I do want to let you know that, um, well, Friday, we're going to start off the weekend with the AZ Diamond or well, Arizona Diamondbacks game. They're playing the San Diego Padres, Padres, this Friday at 640 at Chase Field. If you don't have your tickets, try to get them. I'm not going, but if you go, have fun for me. <laughs> I'm going to be doing something else, but um, it should be a lot of fun. Or take this as a warning to be very careful when traveling to downtown Phoenix because you know it's about to get crazy. Okay. Now, another thing which seems really cool um, is there's a Flamenco por la Vida at the Crescent Ballroom. Now, this is a 21 and over event, okay? So, if you're over 21, I mean, if you're if you're over 21, you're more than welcome to go. But if you're under 21, you might want to, you can't go, okay? I'm sorry. But um, it's just, a, it's a dance exhibition that they're going to be putting out. Super nice. It starts at 6 and it's free. I'm all about free events because I'm, you know what I mean? Let that let you use your money for some drinks or for some food or for you know Uber Lyft you know because you don't want to be driving under the influence. Um. So yeah, one of the things that I thought was really cool today is that you'll probably be seeing a lot of people bike to work. Like today was bike to work day. As I was leaving the gym, right, because I go to a gym in uh, downtown Phoenix, there was a bunch of bikes, and then there was like police motorcycles after them, like not because they're trying to pull them over, but you know, guiding them kind of how they do. I was kind of like, wow, that's a lot of bikes. Anyways, I had just gotten out of my spin class. I was like, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm -mm. Anyways, but it was super cool. If you want to do partake of that, um, you can go to Cityscape, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. If you Google that, you're going to see all the events that they do, and you'll see when the next um, bike to work day is. So you can go ahead and be like, look at me, I'm about to sell cycling to work. So then lastly, I wanted to say that a big shout out to one of my clients. I was showing her a house her and her husband and then she's like hey i want to go to the gym with you and i'm like yes we're still setting a date but i'm so happy that she reached out to me so my question then is why haven't you reached out to me like get at me boo like seriously like don't even worry about my schedule let me worry about that like my schedule is flexible and i can make it however i want so yeah get at me there's no excuse to be loose i'm just kidding that i got that from a dumb video but anyways i thought it was funny i like things that rhyme Okay, but anyway, so remember, hashtag be my guest. I will take you as my guest. We can go to different EOS locations. Um, so just let me know. But with that being said, I'm going to let y'all go because I got some other stuff I need to do. Got a little prepping. But I hope you have a wonderful hump day. I've been wanting to do that, but I was like, is it appropriate? And I'm like, mm, we'll see how it goes. So that's why I put a little camels because, you know, like the commercial. Anyways, woo, a lot going on in my mind. But like I said, I hope you have a wonderful hump day. And with that being said, I will talk to you soon.